Uh, and we eat up the bunch. Well, he eats up the bunchies. <laughs> not me, you know what I mean? I can't get the last blue either. I'm making take a friend. Oh, what the Unveiled back. So that. <laughs> I, in hearing you talking there, Bill, it really takes me back to the very first time I did. I was invited to do the Billy Cotton Band Show. I remember going home to me man and me dad in Liverpool, and I said, I'm going to be doing the Billy Cotton Band Show on Saturday. And they were thrilled. <laughs> me mother was over the moon, because, I mean, Sunday lunch was not Sunday lunch <laughs> without waking. Wake up! It was wonderful. So on the show, I told Bill at rehearsals during the week, of which Michael Hurl, he went on to greater pastures, us together, we were an item. <laughs> we were an item, Michael Hurl and myself. But on that show live on a Saturday night, and I, I remember the duet we did, it was a Lionel Bart number, and it was, if the young ones can be happy, then the old ones should be glad. And I just enjoyed the song, and he sent a message to me, ma'am, and she was over the moon, over the moon. But after that, I do remember, because I think you were, well, you were God at the BBC <laughs> and gave everybody series and stuff like that. And you came up to me and asked me, would I like to do a series after that particular pro programme? And with your help, I really would like to unveil this magnificent piece. Mm. The moment we've all been waiting for is the unveiling of we used to call it Joe Baker and I, Gutter. <laughs> 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 And I, I got my nose because when they, they took us like, a side shot, it was all bumped. I I Remember the hands raised in horror? Tom Jones and Cyril Black both got their nose done. <laughs> Saying, I dursn't tell her, we've given her Tom Jones his old nose. <laughs> <laughs> but so listen, you mentioned Billy Cotton's generosity when you were a young artist and how your career has taken off since then. I mean, do you feel other young artists benefited from his generosity as well? Well, the, the thing is, I'm being very selfish here because I, I, I'm sure because the Billy Cotton Band Show was one of the biggest shows on Saturday Night Live. It was all live. And he gave an inc they used to have a spot uh, where young people like myself could promote their brand new songs or whatever. And I've been I've watched shows like when the the Seekers run they rocked it. I mean, there's lots. I mean, the, the list is endless because it was a very very big show to do, the Billy Cotton Band show on television. But it was also real family entertainment, wasn't it? It was because it'd go from this little girl here in the miniskirt, uh, you know, to a fabulous a musical number then the dancers and then bill himself doing a number too he was great and there was no auto cues then you know and it was all live and he was totally brilliant and very patient with me uh, as a young girl because I wanted to rehearse and rehearse this song which wasn't rock and roll or wasn't pop it was the lovely Lionel Bart song if the young ones can be happy then the old ones should be glad so it was way out of my territory and I rehearsed it and we did the dress run and I actually said oh Mr. Cotton you know because I would never dare call him Bill I was just too young you know I mean when my producer or his producer at the time Michael Hurl called him sir uh, but he commanded that respect I said uh, you know Mr. Cotton do you mind could I do that again with you I'm a bit worried about this song and no problem whatsoever I asked him because if I would have asked the producer at the time which was Michael Earl he would have told me where to go because <laughs> you know a whole show and live you can't spend all that much time rehearsing and he was brilliant for that but you mentioned earlier on about the wakey wakey so that's from radio days as well isn't it you must be a tiny top you listen to that well I was I Sunday mean, morning well Sunday morning meant the smell of cabbage 
and uh, roast lamb and roast potatoes <laughs> and my mother going in raptures over Billy Cotton when she heard those wonderful sounds wakey way hey it was wonderful Magical. and I knew that my dinner would be ready because we call it dinner up north we don't call it uh, lunch it was wonderful days fond memories and I was absolutely thrilled when young Bill as he was called young Bill Cotton Jr asked me to help unveil this magnificent plaque that you see up here I actually said to Bill I said where's mine gonna go <laughs> and they said they might take down the clock <laughs> I'll stick it in the live building eh? stick it in the well, maybe they'll stick me in the live building even better <laughs> Even better. Scylla, thank you very much for your generosity thank today. You. I'm for unveiling the plaque. It's very good of you. Thank, thank you. you very much Lovely indeed. Thanks a lot. Do you do it again? <laughs> yeah. But thank you once again, Scylla, for unveiling that plaque. It was marvellous to watch you doing it and, and to, 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 to see you recalling memories of that lovely...